the 500 guests attended the fifth edition of the Royal Bulawayo Arts Awards 2021 at the Bulawayo Large City Hall. It was unlike last year when numbers of people attending were restricted because of COVID-19 lockdown regulations. It was all glitter and glamour as who and who came dressed to kill in beautiful designer apparel. The scenes depicted the Grammys of the United States of America. DJ Zandi Maz, a Zimbabwean based in South Africa, was one of the most esteemed attendees as well as hip-hop artist Asaf, fashion designer Lady Zana, and makeup artist Memory Mapepa, amongst others. Zim GBC News was in attendance and brings you the following interviews. The Bulawayo 2021 BAA Awards, and with me here is Lady Zana. Lady Zana, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? Thank you. Congratulations on winning this accolade uh, as a fashion designer for your fashion house. Thank you. How are you feeling about this whole thing? Uh, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm happy. Look, I was nominated with some of the best designers in Bulawayo, and it, it really is an honor. Um, I'm very excited. Okay, uh, so when did you start like uh, being a designer or delving into designing at a professional level? Well, I am a designer, I'm an architect. I just moved into fashion in 2013 um, and I just, I've never looked back. That's great. So what is the name of, of your fashion house? A tribe called Zimbabwe. The name of my brand is A Tribe Called Zimbabwe. And it's a, a brand whose thrust is to celebrate Zimbabwean culture and heritage through fashion and architecture. So, for instance, if I want to don something so beautiful like what you're wearing right now, where can I purchase it? Okay, so we're available online at www.atribecalledzimbabwe.com or on Instagram at A Tribe Called Zimbabwe or on Facebook at A Tribe Called Zimbabwe. Hey guys, my name is Ayana Kanda Savanda. We are here at the Blawayo Arts Awards 2021 edition and I'm standing right here with my friend, my brother, a very talented genius who hails from the city of kings and queens. <laughs> His name is Asaf. How are you doing, sir? Uh, I'm good, I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing so well. So you're here. Um, can you tell us a little bit about why you're here. Are you here as a guest? Yeah. Were you just passing by and you thought, <laughs> let me just get in? <laughs> are you a nominee or are you performing or, or something? No, tonight I'm really here just to support everyone else who's been nominated, all the performances. Mm -hmm. Like this whole year, I kind of took a break from like releasing music and uh, putting my work out there. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be a part of the awards to just say, let me come through. Mm -hmm. It's for Bulawayo, you know what I mean? And anything that's Bulawayo, I'm 100% support of that. Yeah. So I'm about to ask you a very controversial question that people are always saying, okay, why do you call it the Blawayo Arts Awards? Yeah. Why not make it the Zimbabwe Arts Awards? H how do you feel about that? I mean, it's about representation. Everyone just wants to have something where they feel like they belong. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like the BETs. Yeah. You know what I mean? The, it's, it's exactly that. Mm -hmm. We just want to feel like this is something for us. This is something where we can come together and appreciate ourselves. Mm -hmm. It's not about shutting other people out but it's about us appreciating us. It's basically. about creating a platform, right? You know what I mean, basically, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. We are still at the large city hall, Goblawayo, Kontutu Ziatunga, Komfazi Ushaya Indota, Gontonga Ziwelele, Nilo Lawrence, and I've Isaiah. They just won an award of the best a cappella group from Bulawayo, right uh before before we talk can can you sing can can you i know you can i know you can two three falling in love with jesus falling in love with jesus falling in love with jesus was the best thing I've ever done. Why, why a cappella? Why not Iskin? Why a cappella? Uh, because uh, we express our sound by 
the voice, uh, a cappella. It's more like a traditional sound that brings out our vocals uh, through, instru sound, through music without instrument, but we bring it out with our vocals. That's why. How long have you been doing a cappella? Uh, it's been 10 years now. Where have you been? We've been around, you know, the journey at times, it's, it's tough, but we're still here and this is our second award. That's wonderful, that's wonderful. Uh, what can you tell the, the, um, the young generation, those that uh, uh, are more into uh, this kind of music? Well, actually, I, I, I'm not a singing member. I'm their manager. I manage the, the, the them. What you say? Yeah, well, it, it goes with them. I, I, I have been too long around them. So I don't sing. They do singing. So uh, they've inspired a lot of people. Okay. They've inspired a lot of people. They come, the, the group came up from Pelandaba, Kwabla Waikonaba, and they've been in the music industry for 10 years. They started back in school when they were just four guys doing uh, a cappella. So seeing them, doing this for me uh, it can tell the rest of the youth that it's possible to make it out there and um, they're going a long way just remember this name focus a cappella watch them they'll, they'll make flower your proud. hi i'm good and you you're looking gorgeous i'm fine and i'm so jealous that you're looking so fantastic so tell me who did oh, uh, who did your hair okay it's latwin yeah, from Fingers Saloon. Okay, it's quite a marvelous uh, hairstyle, quite unique and beautiful. And then who dressed us here? Who did your outfit? Uh, it's my auntie, Miss Guara. She's the one who did this outfit for me. So it's like I stole the design somewhere else, then I had to adjust and, you know, to put this net. Because I thought maybe I'll catch something with it. I wouldn't say you stole it. That's creativity. You came yeah. up with your own design after looking at other, at other people's designs. Okay, so blessing you, you are a, a dancer, a professional dancer, I understand. So how long have you been in that industry? Uh, since 2017. So I started dancing in Victoria and Nova Trust. So it's a drama group uh, directed by Desire Moyoxide. And now I'm currently based in South Africa. Uh, I dance with another young group of girls. We are a group of five. Uh, it's Josie Finest. So how has been the journey for you? Is it easy for women to penetrate into that field? No, it's not all roses. But if it's something that you, uh, it's your passion that you want to do it, it isn't like this career, Maui Tata like a job. So even if it's not easy, we have to push. Because this chain, yeah, it's not an easy chain. And then 2016, I was uh, nominated for uh, Outstanding Theatre Actress at the Namas. Okay, wow, that's marvelous. Okay, just a quick word to women out there who would like to venture into this field. Uh, what can you say to like empower them as a lady yourself? I'll just say, if you have a dream, just chase it. You know, if you're passionate about whatever you're good at, whatever talent you're good at, whatever skill you're good at, I think you go to sleep better at night knowing that at the end of the day, I was doing something that I love. And it's so nice when you change people out there and you tell their stories. You don't know how I feel when I'm on stage. So I want to tell that woman out there that if you want to go on that stage, do it. If you want to sing that song, sing it. Yeah. So there we go, ladies out there. Do not be freaked out by this industry. If you want to measure into it, go into it fully. Look at uh, the likes of Musa Wenko, so they're making it out there. So why not you join them also? your girl Anna Kenneth and I'm here right now with Mawiza who just won an award. Mawiza please introduce yourself to to the people. Still up work among Mawiza, Kulubiski Wang Venecu, Lufana Wagontumba Nego Kokos, Kipanda Po Yes, um so you just won an award. What is your award for? Uh it's outstanding uh quite uh, housing com Okay, so um, how do you feel about this award, knowing that, I mean, Kwaito is, is not that quite popular in Zimbabwe. I mean, it is popular in, in Wobulawayo, but not in the rest of Zimbabwe. You've seen more Kwaito stars in, in South Africa more than 
Zimbabwe. How do you feel about your award? I mean, I'm super excited because I've been uh, nominated. I think th this is my third year, actually. Uh, 2019, 2020, 2021. So I'll go, go winner this time around. I'm, uh, I'm super excited. And the quite is big. I'm a pianist. Quite, quite is big. I, I know you have worked so long. I've seen you work with Calvin. Um, may his soul rest in peace. And um, what can you say about maybe the music industry, Wobulawayo right now, um, looking at the kind of genre that you are involved with and the kind of legacy that Calvin left and what is your vision for, for the future? Uh, a new talent, a new, like I'm loving uh, the new sound, I'm a piano, uh, which comprises of uh, I'm a quite elements. So I'm super excited about the new talent. I just play with a new talent. It touched up with a chair corner. It's quite a pump. I'm standing with a beautiful lady at the Royal BAA Awards. With me here is my name is Noma from ZFM Stereo. Hi, DJ Noma. How are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Ah, congratulations. I can see that you're holding a, 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 um, an award that you won here. Uh, so you won as the... Outstanding radio DJ. Okay. So tell me something. How is it uh, like being a DJ as a lady? Um, I think the industry is more male-oriented. And a few females get to the top. But I'll tell you this. I've learned a lot. It takes a whole lot of work. You don't just come in and do things. I've been in radio for nine years, so this is like something that I don't know. I feel very privileged to have because most women don't get recognized um, as much as they are so talented. And then there are misconceptions out there about, you know, people have this wrong picture about people who venture into DJing. People do not understand that that's part of journalism. Uh, what can you say to like uh, decongest the minds of those people who have got that mindset, uh, a wrong mindset about uh, DJing? So um, I, I always call it radio presenting more than DJing, but the idea is if you can use your voice to change anything in a big way, do it. Radio is more than just having a good voice. It's you using your voice to change people's lives. Okay. You've got the voice and you've got the looks too. I'm still the fifth edition of the Bulawayo Arts Awards and here with me is a gorgeous lady, uh, Miss Tando Mama, Mrs. Tando Mambaz. Mrs. Mambaz, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you? And here I've got... Chendai Chuba, Chuba's finest. Okay. Um, you're looking gorgeous, you're looking great. So, who, who did you address? It's this lovely young man here. Okay, uh, I'll come back to you. So, um, tell me something about this outfit. Uh, as in, uh, how we created it or, or what's the story? Created it and everything, the story behind the outfit. What inspired you uh, to design such an outfit? We did a modern look mixed with the African look. So it was just a fusion of two themes, the modern and the African. Okay, so tell me, when did you uh, start being a designer? When did you venture into this field and why designing? It's been quite a long time, because it was 2018, up to date. So how has been the journey for you? Ah, it's been nice, because I enjoy it so much. I left a lot of jobs. I was... Uh, yeah, um, a, a manager, it, it, once a time I was a manager at Rainbow, but I left it for designing because I enjoy it so much. Okay. So, uh, Ms. Mambaz, Mrs. Uh, Mambaz, how do you feel about it? I really love it because it actually fuses two of my characters together. I do have the classy side, but I do also have the African side. And a lot of people would have expected me to actually rock up in probably a full... African attire with African hair, but this time, uh, Memo, I'm sure you've seen her, she, I think you interviewed her, she's the one that did my hair and makeup as well. So it was actually a collab of people that actually wanted to make me look very good for these awards and I'm so grateful to them. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this uh, function that we're here at. I
Guess what? Guess who I'm with right now? DJ Zandimas. Hi, DJ Zandimas. Hi, girl. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Uh, such a privilege and honor to have you here at the Royal BA Awards. So, how are you finding uh, the awards uh, compared to maybe the standards that you use to South Africa? Actually, the one thing that I was saying to my manager, I kept saying to her, you know, when it comes to choreography and everything, the arts, yo, Zim is still there, hey? Because I feel like everyone is on stage, they're literally taking whatever that they're doing very serious. It's actually amazing. There's no difference. People rocked up looking fabulous. I was like, hmm, wow. Like, it's, it's amazing. There's no difference. Absolutely no difference. So tell me, who is Zandi? Sandy was in the Mazulela, was in Skodina, Havani Township. A girl who grew up just uh, wanting to make it big. Well, obviously, I had to go through the normal tertiary and following your career stuff. I qualified as a lawyer, but at the same time, I've always been an art person and I've always been a musical person. I did drama here and there, but I was always musical. Little did I know I'll be a DJ and a producer. How is this field of uh, being a disc jockey for a woman, for a lady, like penetrating into that industry? How has it been for you? It's a jungle. It's not easy. It's stressful. It's hectic. At the same time, it's a beautiful journey. It's just like being a mother. I always tell people, motherhood is hard. It comes with all challenges and everything. But at the same time, it's amazing. If you're doing something that you actually love, it's amazing. I get to learn new things every day and I, I'm still learning. But I am really loving it. I wouldn't even trade it for anything else. Uh, so how long have you been in this industry? 11 years. Uh, can you just give me a, a one or two lines from your favorite songs of all the songs that you've composed and sung? Can you just give me one or two lines? Okay, my bone in the Dote no tanto, dote ne ma, en nen tlonipo, en no ngumo lo So that's my latest song with Nsan San Nguza in ABX, ABX. I want to impress her, I'm not a good artist when it comes to singing, okay, but I'll try my best. Uh, here is one of my favorite lines from one of your songs, okay. With me here is the Honorable Deputy Mayor of Bulawayo uh, at the Bulawayo uh, BAA Awards uh, 2021. Uh, Honorable Mube. I'm fine now. I am very, very happy today we are here. Ah, good things. Okay, uh, what can you say about uh, this award uh, in terms of uh, Bulawayo as a city? Uh, do you think uh, this really puts our city somewhere on the map? Actually, the first thing that we, we appreciate as a city is the honor and recognition that is done to our artists. I can tell you that you go out, everyone knows about this award, everyone is happy, and they look at the fairness. The people get to participate through voting. You, you can see when the winners are being announced, people are celebrating, showing that they're identifying themselves. I want to congratulate Omambazo, Labonkululego, under the leadership of Wabusi Samoyo. They've grown from the day they started up to today. The participation is increasing and the quality is wonderful and we thank the corporate world in Bulawayo that is supporting this thing.